merhaba. Yepyeni bir haftada yeni gelişmelerle ve sinema dosyalarımızla karşınızdayız. Sinemaskop'a hızla başlıyoruz ve sinema dünyasında herkesten bir adım önde oluyoruz. So, you two are villains now? I mean hello sweetie. Oh oh boss. Sevilen animasyon serisi Çılgın Hırsız'ın merakla beklenen 80 milyon dolar bütçeli 3. devam halkası bu sefer evli ve 3 kız babası Guru'nun yeni ortaya çıkan ikiz kardeşiyle bir araya gelmesini anlatıyor. Steve Carroll iyi kalpli kötü adam Guru'ya hayat verirken orijinal seslendirme kadrosunda Kristen Wiig'de bulunuyor. Gelin filmi bir de onlardan dinleyelim. When I was first asked to do the first Despicable Me, I loved the idea of this lonely, despicable person who was bad, but intrinsically had a good heart. Hello! <laughs> and the first movie grew up, became a father. The second one had the relationship with Lucy and how that started. And then in this third one, getting the chance to create an entirely new character. This does not mean that we are going back to being villains. I mean, hello, sweetie. Hello. Ciao, Pucci. <laughs> Just finish others' sentences. <laughs> My brother! <laughs> Ew. At the beginning of this third Despicable Me, Gru receives news that he has a brother named Drew. Ready to be villains together? No, I left that life behind me. Just one heist. Mm. I called the black one. When they get together, it's hilarious. How about we steal the largest diamond in the world? It's a very interesting dynamic between the two of them. Also because they're both played by the same person. <laughs> Wait, did we just finish each other's sentences? Gru is sort of the alter ego of Gru. He's very light. He's very silly. Who doesn't love this guy? <laughs> Look at him. Oh, but hair would make you better. <laughs> but Gru takes things much more seriously. This is not like stealing lollipops. Whoa. I've impressed my kids' friends by pulling out the Gru voice every now and then. You're the getaway driver. <gasps> With any luck, I'll be able to pull out the Drew voice and get the same reaction. It's go time! Nobody, nobody curses my daughter. You got that? Because if you mess with Margo, you mess with me. And I promise you do not want to mess with me. Do you understand me? No, I meant to be tougher on them, not me. So, how are things career-wise? Uh, you're fired! <laughs> At the beginning of the movie, Gru loses his job. So he's kind of down on his luck. We're going to be fine. I want to help since you don't have a job. I got two whole dollars. Uh. But you meet a long lost brother and you're drawn back to something in your past. We're going back to villainy. <laughs> They are like two little kids up to no good. She kind of gets a little suspicious when they're plotting. So, you two are villains now? <laughs> I mean, hello, sweetie. And there is a villain, the likes of which we have never seen. Balthazar Brad. It's some kind of monster. Wait, that's not a monster. That's a man wearing shoulder pads. It's really interesting, charming, and funny. It's a lot. <laughs> Drew having all these positive qualities and he's very charming. So, you know, the, the girls love him instantly and, you know, the uh, Gru's daughters. And, uh, and so this makes Gru initially quite jealous because he's, he never had this sort of charm or this ability to, 
you know, to, to win people over, you know, and I think that's part of like his, his grumpiness, where for Drew, it's, he's a complete natural. But, you know, as we get to know Drew a little bit better, we start to see the more vulnerable side of him. And, and in the same way that Drew had this tough relationship with his mother and looking for her acceptance all the time, Drew had that same problem with his father, you know. And so that's a little bit where these characters meet, is that they, they both have this history of, you know, trying to prove themselves and be accepted, and, and that's sort of their relating point. A unicorn horn! I saw one once. Was it fluffy? It was so fluffy. I thought I was gonna die. <laughs> Lucy's uh, arc in the movie is that, you know, she's making this big adjustment from being this secret agent where she's extremely capable, she knows all these different martial arts, and she can work with gadgets, and she's taken on all these villains. Uh, but now she's finding herself in the role of a parent as well, uh, trying to um, fulfill this mother relationship for these three girls. And this is a real fish out of water situation for her, you know, trying to get the hang of it. And, and so she's used to dealing with things like uh, with kung fu and, and martial arts, and now she's having to deal with things in, in a very responsible, maternal kind of way, which she's slowly getting the hang of. Uh, also trying to win the girls over to that, because up until this point, you know, they're used to being with Gru, and, and they love her, but they are, they're not used to her being in this, in this kind of role. Um, so that's a, big, that's a big part of her transition, is trying to reconcile, you know, how is she going to have this maternal relationship with the girls. So, you two are villains now? <laughs> I mean, hello, sweetie. Uh oh, busted. When Steve Carell first started to explore Drew's character, uh, you know, we showed him lots of artwork, tried to show him, give him some visual cues about who this who this guy is, uh, get a sense of his exuberance and his lightness, uh, and then it was just fascinating to watch Steve sort of explore the character and and try these different voices. And after a couple of working sessions with him. Uh, he came back with this voice, which is what we have in, in, the, in the film, um, which sort of helps really differentiate himself from, from Gru's character, but still has a little bit of the quirkiness and the, uh, you know, some sort of indiscernible accent you know, that we're getting with, with Gru as well. Uh, but that has lots of positivity to it and, and just lots of excitement about life and, and all this joy, uh, but also has this vulnerability in it. Yoğun bir sinema turunun ardından Sinemaskop'un yine sonuna geldik. Haftaya yine dolu dolu bir bölümle aynı gün ve saatte tekrar ekranlarınızda karşınızda olacağız. Hafta içi boyunca sinemadan haberdar olmak istiyorsanız da sizleri sosyal medya hesaplarımıza bekliyoruz. Sinemasız kalmayın, izlemediğiniz filmde kalmasın. Hoşçakalın.